What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to enhance your skies in Photoshop. We post new tutorials and content every week, so make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media using the links in the description. Also visit newlayer.com and sign up for the email list to get special offers that are only available for email subscribers. Let's get started. So you're probably working with your own image with a sky that you want to enhance, but if you're a New Layer member, you can download the project files and use our sample image or you can find one online at pixabay or unsplash.com. New Layer members get access to project files, premium downloads, and a whole lot more at newlayer.com. So I'm going to drag my image into Photoshop to open it. And the first thing that we want to do is make a selection of just our sky. So I'm going to come over and choose the Quick Selection tool and start drawing on my canvas to select the sky. Now this tool usually does a pretty good job, but sometimes you need to zoom in and adjust it. So it missed a couple spots on these mountains. So I'm going to hold Alt to deselect and I'm going to paint just on that mountain. And you see that it automatically adjusts the selection to just the sky. There's a tiny spot here. So I'm going to press the left bracket key a few times to shrink my selection tool. And again, holding Alt, I'm going to click on that mountain to deselect it. And one last time over here on the right, I'll hold Alt and paint on that mountain. And that selection looks pretty good. The last thing I'll do is now right click and choose Select and Mask and refine the selection just a tiny bit. So I'm going to smooth it by about 10, feather it by 0.1, and maybe increase the contrast by about 10%. Then I'll hit OK. Now that we have our selection, I'm going to come down and click this icon and then choose Solid Color to create a new Solid Color Fill Layer using that selection as a mask. I'll set the color to black and hit OK. Next, I'm going to come over and set the Blend Mode to Linear Burn and set the fill to 25%. Some people choose to change the opacity, but with some Blend Modes, the fill looks different and it usually looks a lot better, so I almost always stick with the fill. Now if I turn that on and off, it looks basically like you just have a big black half transparent layer on top of your sky, which is not what we're after. We want to enhance the sky, so basically darken the blue areas while letting the clouds stay white. So I'm going to come over to that layer and double click it to open the layer style dialog. And if you've never used the blend if section, it's great when it comes to blending one layer with a layer beneath. So what I'm going to do is on the underlying layer slider, I'm going to come grab this right handle and drag it to the left just until I can barely see some of the original dark blue. And I'm going to move the image because I know the top left corner has the darkest blue. So I'll just drag that all the way over till there's just a tiny bit of blue from the original image showing through. Next I'm going to hold Alt and click on the right side of this slider and that will separate the two. And then I'm going to drag that over all the way to the right and then I'll hit OK. What that's doing is making this linear burned black layer only affect the darkest parts of the sky and as the sky gets lighter the effect becomes less apparent. So now if I turn that on and off you can see that it's darkening the sky and leaving the clouds alone. And of course you can come into the fill and change that to make it darker or lighter. So we'll leave that set to 25% for now. There's one other thing you can do with this method that'll help you set the exact color of the sky. So I'm going to right click and choose duplicate layer and hit OK. And I'm going to hide our original layer. And we already have that blend if set, so I'm going to keep that there. And our layer mask is still intact. But I'm going to set the fill to 100% and change the blend mode back to normal. Now you can see that it's very dramatic and it's almost black in the darkest parts. So what I want to do is make it really dramatic, but still retain the color and the contrast from the original image. So I'll double click that thumbnail. And what you want to do is sample a color from your image. So I'm going to click on this mountain here, and then you can just darken that. So now I have a really dramatic sky, but the color of the sky still matches the image. And of course, you can tweak it by dragging this slider here. So that looks pretty good, and I'll hit OK. So with that method, you can make the sky really dramatic, but also look really natural. So here's the before and the after. That's it for now, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to get notified when we post the next one.
Leave a comment and let me know what you want to learn next. We create new content based on your feedback, so it's really helpful. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.